Red Squirrels Northern England, RSNE, is a Red Squirrel Conservation Partnership. Their main aim is to maintain and increase Red Squirrel range across Northern England. An important part of their work is to monitor the distribution of Red and Grey Squirrels in the area. Red Squirrels have declined due to the introduction of the Grey Squirrel from America in the 1870s. Grey Squirrels outcompete Reds for food and habitat and also carry squirrel pox a disease which is fatal to red squirrels and can have devastating impacts on populations. Grey squirrel control is necessary to protect the remaining reds we have in the north. Our SNE employ a ranger team across the project area who carry out grey squirrel control in a strategic manner, working with landowners to carry out landscape scale conservation. One method of grey squirrel control is to use traps. First, it is covered with a plastic layer to protect the animal from the elements. Then, the trap is camouflaged so to blend into its surroundings. Maize and other seeds are used for bait. Another trap used is a tree trap. This is the same setup, but mounted to the side of a tree instead of being set on the ground. Once a grey squirrel is caught, it is dispatched swiftly. So to monitor red squirrel range, we're using a range of different methods. Everything from high-tech trail cameras, um, remotely capturing squirrel activity in woodlands, through to volunteers watching feeders in their gardens, through to volunteers and staff walking through woodlands and counting the squirrels that they see. So we're using a range of different standardised methods that are applied in the same way, same time, across at least 250 different woodlands. Grey squirrel control does make a difference. There's lots of evidence. Anglesey is a great example. All the evidence, all the monitoring information there shows a steady replacement of grey squirrels with red squirrels as the control work there um, has an impact. So we've now got Anglesey back to being a red squirrel island. There is community involvement right across the RSNE project. Representatives give talks, educating people on how they can get involved in saving the red squirrel. Without the essential work of community volunteers, there would be no red squirrels left for us to save.